Good evening, Belen. How are you today? Did you have a good day? Yes, I have a good day. Today was better than yesterday. Oh, better than yesterday. That's nice to hear that. Did you do anything special? Yeah. My, my job is um, sales. My work is uh, sales. Uh, so, if I, uh, ¿cómo se dice si yo vendo? If I sell. If I sell, I'm happy. <laughs> ah, okay. That's because nice. That's my, that's my goal and in, in my work every oh. month. You have like a sales metrics. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, that's nice that you sell today. Ah, uh, yeah. And the rest of you? How was your day, Juan? Yes, yes. Uh, I go cancel. <laughs> oh, you're tired today. I go cancel. Hay momentos que que puede uno pasarlo tranquilo y hay momentos agitados. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, I understand. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we also have Judy. How are you today, Judy? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Um, my day is normal, teacher. Okay, that's very nice. Tired. To hear, uh, very tired. Very, very tired. Yeah. Uh, but it's almost, almost Friday. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday, and then you will have a chance to rest in the weekend. Do you work on weekends? Yes, teacher. I you work do. weekend. Saturday and Sundays? Yeah. Annoy, annoy. Sunday, annoy. Sunday uh, at 8 a.m. Okay. to 12. It's heavy, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we have just at seven and hi Francisco. So we're getting some people still getting into the meeting. Uh, but yes, we're going to start. Let me share my screen with you so we can uh, see what's in today. To start today with this, um, I included some idioms in the presentation because American people use a lot of idioms when they are speaking. And sometimes we may get lost when they are using those idioms. So that uh, it is important to know some, at least some of them. And um, let's see, uh, this is the first one. This is the first idiom. It's let sleeping still lie. So what would you understand if someone tells you, uh, no worry, just let sleeping dog light. What would you understand? Mm -hmm. Are annoyed, annoyed. 
Annoying, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was yesterday. It was a tongue twister. So today we're not going to practice tongue twisters. Um, we are going to I practice practice idioms. Mm -hmm. practice. practice. With idioms. Vamos a practicar con idioms. So uh, like, uh, American people, they uh, use them a lot. Los usan bastante. Y a veces uh, nos quedamos perdidos, ¿verdad? What is the meaning, teacher? Sorry. Of this one. Let's sleep in those lie. No, no, no. Eh, lo que usted dice, que es lo que vamos a estudiar hoy. Son idioms. Aquí se los puse en la primera. ¿Y idiomas? Um, oh, se confundí. No, no. Idioms son como dichos. dichos. Como dichos. Dichos. Ah, Ajá. Okay. Nosotros tenemos dichos en español. Ellos también tienen dichos en inglés y los usan. Y a veces uno se queda perdido. Porque, pues, si ahorita vamos de aquí, dice, um, let's sleep in dog light. So, esto no quiere decir, deja a los perros que duerman, ¿verdad? Deja a los perros de echados, no. Good evening. Something different. What do you think that means? Good evening. It's, it's like, for example, the phrase, um, see you later, alligator. Uh, something like that. But, ah, okay. Uh, when someone says let sleeping dog lie is um, they mean to leave uh, imagine that you are in a difficult situation or you're having some issues some problems uh, they, if someone tells you let sleeping dogs lie the, uh, the, the meaning is to leave the things as they are in order to avoid um, causing more problems or make them bigger. O sea que en español vendría siendo como cuando nos dicen que te resbale como el agua al pelo de los perritos. Mm, more or less. I'm <laughs> going to share. Ah, cuando se enoja que le resbale. <laughs> Let me share good this. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I'm going to share a video. Voy a mutear porque sé que van a ver el video donde hay muchas donde se está utilizando este idiom. Okay, so you have the meaning and you will see parts of movie, parte de películas o series donde la frase se utiliza, la frase let's sleep in dog light, que dijimos que es como para eh, dejar las cosas así, déjalo así, okay? Right. So I'm going to share the video and you may watch it in your mobile device. There you have it. Yes. <laughs> Did you watch the video? I don't know. Yes, be... teacher. <laughs> okay, yes, so teacher. And that is the meaning. Dejar las cosas como están para evitar causar más problemas. Así que si alguien le dice alguna vez, let's strip in dog life. Es como, así déjalo. Okay? <laughs> right. Let's go with the cola, next one. Damos una cólera a cualquiera y, y, y la respuesta es así. Mm -hmm. Let's sleep in stars life. Oh, yo caigo mal a alguien me dice, hey, boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one takes one to know one. What do you think that means? If someone take, takes one to know one, that is the meaning. Uh, once uh, in it, in Toby, you know. Uh -huh. Alguien más? If someone takes takes one to down one, what does it mean? 
Show me a way I want to score a work working to see my teacher. Yeah. Maybe it's Where's like it? uh, oh, you could oh. try, you don't know, for example. Hmm. Some kind. Uh, it's basically that you need uh, to know. Just one example thing. to know mm -hmm. everyone. Something like that. Mm. Mm, maybe not everyone, but a specific maybe kind of person. Oh, you need to okay. know someone like of the same kind to understand the others, maybe okay. behavior. Okay. I'm going to share the video where this uh, idiom uh, um, is being used. Adam Tai I sent the video. <laughs> Hey. O sea, es como mira quién habla. Mm. Eh, sí, pues sí, se puede utilizar en, en ocasiones, como dice ahí, positivo o negativo, y sería como mira quién habla, ¿verdad? Alguien igual, ¿verdad? Es como decir, si este es igual, ¿verdad? Entonces es como mira quién habla. Uh -huh. So, yes, that's the one. Now let's take a look to this other one. Clean as a whistle. What does it mean? When someone says clean as a whistle? Yes, un pito. Whistle. Sí, whistle es un silbato. Pero si alguien le dice, um, clean as a whistle, no, es como estoy, como un silbato, verdad, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. but probablemente sí, sea una pista. What do you think is the meaning of this one? Clean a whistle, and, and, and stop, always to, you know, to pista. Okay, I'm going to share the video and you watch for the meaning. Sí, claro, me entiendo. <laughs> Did you watch the video? Sí, lo compartí, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Did you watch it? To white to video. Así decía, to white to video. Clean as a whistle. Bueno. ¿Lo vieron? Este último no lo entendí, teacher. No lo entendí yes. al último. Yeah, teacher. Me neither. Belen? Oh, no, teacher. Ahí dice, idiom, someone is not guilty. What is the meaning of guilty? Culpable. Culpable, uh -huh. So if someone is not guilty of having done anything wrong. Es cuando usted no es culpable, como decir, uh, como decimos en español, a mí que me registren, ¿verdad? I'm clean as a whistle. <laughs> okay. okay. 
Ajá, tú no tienes la culpa de nada, está limpio de culpas y en español le decimos a mí que me registren. Ellos dicen clean as a whistle. Ok, let's see the next one. Keep your, eye, keep your eyes peeled. What's the meaning of this one? ¿Qué, qué se les imagina? Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. No ideas? No tenemos los abiertos. Exactly. Uh -huh. Good. Sí, ya lo había escuchado. Ya lo había escuchado. Nice. Okay, excellent. I'm sharing the video. You may watch it. Ajá, uh -huh. so es como mantén tus ojos abiertos, estar alerta, it's keep your eyes peeled. Estar atento. Estar atento. Sí, sí, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. And this one, if someone tells you, do me a solid, what do you think it's it? Do me a solid. La mirada. No. Mm. Oh, Lo siento como que si dijera Ten mi compasión <risa> Tal vez por el, el gatito Cara no de tristeza But no Laus uh -huh. Can you give up? Cara de este como si está pidiendo comida Como solicitar un favor o algo así Exacto Yes, that is correct. It's similar when you need something for it. Um, ask me a favor. Si alguien dice do me a solid, está pidiéndole un favor. Es un idiom. Y ahí les compartí el video ahorita donde se utiliza este idiom. Tell me a Okay, so there you go. This is it with the um yesterday we practiced some tongue twisters today. It was about idioms, and tomorrow it's going to be a different activity to begin. And uh, remember, this is just to improve. Esto le va a ayudar a, a mejorar, a tener más conocimiento del idioma. Y pues de repente sí, ellos utilizan mucho esto, los idioms. So that's going to be useful for you. And I'm going to um, include them from time to time. De, les voy a ir incluyendo idioms more tongue twisters in order to help with your learning process. And well, we're going to continue with yesterday's activity. Unfortunately, we're not going to make the same group since uh, it is not possible. Uh, we're going to watch the video and answer. Remember that yesterday we were practicing with sequencing words, okay? Like first, after that, then finally, etc. So you're gonna watch the video and put the um, like steps that the interview mentioned that he would do in order to follow or deal with the different customers. And you may suggest any, maybe a couple of more steps, not only the ones that you are going to watch in the video, but also your own recommendations. Are we clear with the instructions? Okay, so let me create the rooms. But before, antes de hacer los rooms, vamos a ver 
attendance. Okay, so remember to uh, turn on your cameras and say present as you hear your names. Andrea Laurena. Present. Thank you. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen René Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Francisco Nemias Godínez. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli Ibarraza. Thank you, Helen. Iris Juana Cuña. Okay, uh, it is Joanna. Present. Thank you, it is. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maricela del Carmen Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Noemí Albertina Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemí. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Reina Margarita Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Guadalupe Contreras. Judy Araceli Cuellar. Judy Araceli Cuellar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Judy. Jose Rudy here, Acevedo. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Jose Rudy Acevedo. Teacher. Thank you. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Ana Mercedes Amaya. María Angélica Godínez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Imelda Elizabeth. Imelda Elizabeth. Susana Esmeralda. Okay, let's continue then. I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to continue or to start again the yesterday's activity. Ok, remember, vamos a ver el video, van a escuchar lo que el entrevistado hace para lidiar con un customer, que, con un cliente que es difícil. Ustedes pueden ponerlos en orden que él menciona primero, hace esto y esto y esto, luego esto, usando las palabras que vimos ayer. First, after that, then, finally, and you can add two more. Pueden agregar dos más. And then we're going to share what you have with your classmates. Let's join the rooms.
Hello. Hola, teacher. ¿Cree que nos ayuda de, o, habilitando la opción de compartir? Ah, eh, ya estuvo. It's, it's gone. <ríe> ok. Ya. Yes, Juan Ricardo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, have problem. We had problem con el uh, ¿Cuáles son los videos que vamos a ver? Los últimos que mandó. Uh, yes, el que está en el enlace de la presentación de ayer. Ahorita se lo puede mandar por WhatsApp. Me voy a salir del room. Okay.
Hi Helen. ¿En qué grupo estaba, Helen? ¿En qué grupo estaba, Helen, para volverla a unir? En el grupo 1 estaba. Eh, Francisco en el 1. Ok. ¿No habían terminado cerca yo de la miren? Sí, este, me sacó. Ah, bueno, ahorita no. lo pongo en el 1. Estaba Andrea, Delmi, José y Rubén. Sí, con ellos. Ok, ahorita. Gracias. ¿En qué runa estaba, Judy, para volverla a unir? Se le cayó el inter. Sí, teacher, con Carlos Abeldaño, parece que se llama, y este, Carlos. Ok, estaba en el 2. Thank you, teacher. Ok. ¿Y Helen, en qué grupo estaba, Helen? Hello. Um, my question. Mm -hmm. 
what are we going to do after to watch the video? I'll create the presentation and say the steps that the interviewer mentioned that he would do in order to deal with a different customer. And you will use a sequence word, like first, the interviewer mentioned this and this and this, oh, okay. after that, and so on. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Mm
Good, everybody's back again. So let us listen to room number one. There was Andrea, Delmi, Francisco, Jose Arnoldo, and Ruben. Um, first, listen to the customer. 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 Uh -huh. After that, ask questions to find find out what you need. Then make make a friendship like connection with them. And finally, call them to see if they are still happy. Which ones did you add? Is that all for you? It, it's all, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's listen to room number two. Belen, Carlos Mario, Iris Joana, and Moises. Yes, teacher. Going to start. Uh, first, uh, use effective communication with the client. Listening more than talk, the first part. Ah, <laughs> process, listen and let them speak as question, establish common connection. After that, we have to handle it with the objection of the customer. Then of listen to the customer, we have help. Uh, uh, only that. Did it. We did it, teacher. That is nice. Uh, you did uh, a good job. So let's listen to room number three, Carlin, Carmen Rene, Kenya Cecilia, Maria Angelica, and Noemi Vasquez. Hello, teacher. I share my, my screen. Okay, perfect. Okay. How do you how do you deal with a difficult customer? First and uh, use an effective communication. And then my, my listen <laughs> then listen and let them speak. Okay, Carmen Rene. After that, ask questions to get the bottom of the issue and to, issue and to establish what their needs are. Okay. Kenya, Cecilia, no sé si ya está por ahí. 
Eh, creo que no. Creo que sí, sin poder sí. conectar. Eh, next, establish a common connect, connect, connection with the customer. And then come up with a solution or recommendation that they are happy with. Finally, never get irate with a difficult customer and always remember you are representing your company's brand. So you must be professional. And, and, and we have other steps. Uh, allow the client, allow the client to express themselves without interruptions. We apologize for the bad experience on behalf of the company. Mm -hmm. Number three, formulate questions so that they themselves find the solution or answer. That is all. Okay, excellent. That you also include other steps that you would take into action in order to uh, deal with a different with a difficult customer so good job thank you so much for sharing thank you okay let's listen to the last room it was um jose rudy juan ricardo margarita and maricela Yeah. Hola, ahí están. Would you share your screen? Maricela. No, no contáis, no contestáis. ¿Qué será? Dicho, yo creo que nadie hizo la presentación y creo que cada quien trabajó en eh, individual. Ok, ¿any volunteer from that group? Nobody? Eh, bueno, al menos yo no lo hice, teacher, porque yo no lo entiendo muy bien. Ok, no worries. So, we are going to continue then. Let me share again the screen. After uh, we have a similar exercise and uh, you can do it alone. So you can take notes in your notebook. So I'm not going to create a breakout room. So uh, in this, you're going to uh, talk. If you have had that experience, probably it's going to be easier for you. What you're going to do is to choose one of these situations below and list describe five steps. So you write five steps that you could use to deal with a difficult customer and present the process to the classroom. So the first one is a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Number two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Number three, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And the last one, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. So you're going to choose one of these situations and describe in five steps, how would you handle that situation? 
you can do it uh you know you can write on your notebook and then you're going to share what you have teacher i have a question mm -hmm. what is toothpick a toothpick is un palillo un palillo de dientes okay mm -hmm. And remember to use sequence words first, then, after that, finally, etc. Oh, oh. Vamos a hacer eh, o vamos a repasar diálogos, teacher. No, lo que van a hacer es seleccionar una de esas situaciones que tienen ahí en la pantalla y escribir qué harían en esa situación usando las sequence words que vimos ayer. Se acostumbra en de su tuba, no del día.
Is anybody ready to share? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you share with us what you have? The yes. situation that you selected and the resolution, what steps would you take? Okay. Um, I choose... Uh, I choose the for one. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Okay, first of all, we have to emphasize with the customer and hear what exactly the problem is. Then we have to try to apologize and try to calm down and give an options to fix that mistake. After that, we have to try to make an options to fix it. For example, give it the money back, or if the customer wants, give it a dessert or free, or even give it all the or give all the order plus the dessert for free. And finally, we'll, um, I don't know how to say compensate teacher. So I I think it will compense. Compensate. Compensate. Okay. We'll compensate the mistake. And we have a very good recommendation uh, for a good resolution. Okay, excellent job, Belen. I, I really like your presentation. Very good done. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Anybody else? Tell me, Need thank you. Sorry. Um, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. After that, verify if the order is a request, then give feedback to the customer. If it is an internal error, send the correct order. And finally, tell to the customer to see if he received what he wanted. Oh, you included a follow-up. Excellent, very good job, Delmi. Thank you so much. And let's see who's next. Carlos Mario, thank you. Yes, teacher. I choose the first. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. First, apologize with the client. Then, offer an additional apology with a with a gift such a discount coupon coupon for his next purchase. After that, offer a uh, free home delivery also for his next purchase. And finally, offer that if happen again, his purchase will be completely free. Excellent, excellent, because you're including solutions that will yes. lead to a future purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. you're giving a discount for future um, orders and um, and that is uh, that is going to allow the customer to come back to the uh, restaurants or whatever and do another purchase. Okay, so that's nice. Very good idea. Thank you so much, Carlos. Anybody else? No. Carmen, thank you so much. Okay, teacher, a group of customers is getting upset because the cashier is also slow. First, support with more staff order pending accounts. Then be kind to the client, even if they are not comfortable. After that, asking him a place or explain if he has to wait a bit, you can also try to offer him a courtesy drink. And finally, uh, say that them for wearing and invite them to come back. Okay, everybody loves free drinks. <laughs> nice, very good recommendations. Thank you so much for participating, Karen. Anybody else? Andrea, thank you. Okay, a customer is Angry because his food was not delivered. No sé delivered on time. First, 
I would apologize to the client kindly. Then I will give him a snack. After that, I will bring him his food and apologize again. And finally, teacher, ¿cómo se dice agradecer? Thank. Thank the customer. Thank. Probablemente si quiere decir agradecerle al customer, thank the customer. Vaya, finally, I thank the customer, your preference. Sería him preference, ¿verdad? His, for his preference. His, his preference and I would give him a drink. A free drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Nice job. And everybody loves free things, right? And also it is important to apologize. And yes, so nice job. Thank you so much, Andrea. Anybody else? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Noemi. <clears throat> I select a group, uh, the, the number five. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Uh -huh. The cashier mm -hmm. is too slow. Okay, too let's slow. see. And the step, and the step are, first, uh, listen and let them speak. After that, send cashier support. Then uh, talk them to calm them down. Next, offer juice or soda to customers. Finally, attend with great kindness to customer and offer a promotional. Okay, very important. Thank you so much, Naomi, for your participation. And yes, it is important to let the customer vent. Okay, so if a customer is hurt, the, so the me, thing that you the, can do is to let the customer vent, teacher. listen to them carefully, and uh, yes, offer a free. Um, a personalized item or anything free that you can offer is a good idea. Thank you so much, Naomi. Yes, Juan Ricardo? The old is a customer angry, high food, what delivery in time. He puts a Let me check. Oh, yes, yes, you sent a message to me. It says you have to try not to make the customer angry by improving the product. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that. Uh, uh, everybody who has a business, uh, the they always try not to make the customer angry. They don't do it, but like intentionally. So yes, thank you so much, Juan Ricardo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Anybody else would like to share? It is. Thank you. I choose a situation, a customer is very aggressive to, to, to one of your employees. First, I will approach the customer and greet him cordially. Then I will ask if you have any problem that I can help you with. After that, I will try to get him away from the employee he is assaulting. And finally, I will tell, tell him to calm to calm down, and we will help him. Excellent job! And it is very important that you mentioned that you would first approach the customer kindly. Yes, you have to keep in mind that you have to be calm and approach the customer kindly. Listen 
and and let, let them speak you apologize and ask him to calm down in a in a in a kindly way so important important that you mentioned that iris thank you so much anybody else no more volunteers uh rafael thank you so much Um, I'm select uh, number five. A group of customers is getting upset because the cashier is too slow. The first explain the situation. There is possibility that it is not the fault of the cashier. Second, offer in a chain chairs or some type of drink such as water, coffee, or tea. And finally, seek help with another cashier if there is a possibility. Finish. Okay, excellent job, Rafael. And the, yes, uh, this is important to mention that probably is nothing, it's nothing to do with the cashier, right? So the, the fact that she is being slow, it's probably due to a system issue or something like that. And you can look for um, uh, another resource, another cashier to uh, attend the customer. So yes, thank you so much. Uh, anybody else? Okay, so thank you so much for all your ideas. You did a very nice job and you're practicing, you're speaking and you're doing it great. So that is the important thing of this kind of exercises. So let's continue with the next one. Let me uh, stop sharing because it got stuck and I'm going to share again. Okay. All right, after that, we have a conversation that, that we have been practicing with sequence words. We have this other, and as you see, we have a couple of phrases in bold, and this wouldn't it be better, and it would be better. So that's what we're going to be discussing about, but first of all, we're going to uh, practice this conversation. We do have um, two volunteers. To role play? Yes, teacher. teacher. Maria? Yo, teacher. Es que yes. Creo la manita de Maria es más fácil si ponen la manita. And Moises. Okay, let's listen to Maria and Moises. Y um, los, luego bajan la manita y seguimos con los demás. Okay? Okay. Okay, we need to create the main step to include into the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Moises? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Menu. Wouldn't be better if Shepard one is about how servers should greet, greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we employ the server, dress code, and- Appearance. 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 Uh -huh. appearance. And appearance in the first chapter. In the first chapter. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's listen to other two volunteers. We have one, let me see. I have one Ricardo Alvarenga and Belen. Okay. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual, manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. 
Sorry, teacher. I don't know how to say wool wouldn't. Would. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't it? Would. Uh -huh. Would. No, wouldn't. Wouldn't it be better? Okay. Wouldn't it be better? Si lo puede unir mejor. Wouldn't it be better? Y si no, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? It's chapter one. It's about how servers should grade the customers and after that, how they need to press in the menu. Actually, it will be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Excellent job. Well done. Thank you so much for your participation. You're welcome. Let's see. I saw Rudy's hand. Rudy, anybody else? Jose Rudy and Iris Joanna. Thank you. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our, our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Good and it be better if chapter one is about how servers should, and should grade the customer and after that, how they, de how they need to present the menu. In the world, be better if we include the server's dress code and the appearance. Appearance. Appearance in the first shirt. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Some words are like kind of difficult, right? For example, esta appearance. Appearance. También la otra es menu. 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 Experience. And menu. Uh, la saludo vi por ahí también. Greet. Por ahí estaba. Uh, the word Greet. chapter. Uh -huh. Greet. Chapter. 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 Uh -huh. Vi la manita de Carlos por ahí. Carlos Mario. Yes, teacher. Uh, Okay, and for reading the conversation, para hacer role play? Yes. Okay, anybody else who would like to participate with Carlos Mario? Imelda, thank you so much. Okay. Empiezo usted, Carlos. Will you start? Okay. Um, we need to create the main step to include the in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Their servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Uh, would it be better if chapter one is about how servers will, great, will greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Excellent. Well done. Thank you so much, Imelda and Carlos. You did an excellent job. Let's see. Um, vi la manita de Francisco por ahí. Um, y tengo a Juan Ricardo Menedemo. We need to create the main step to include the manual to, oh, to train and start. What do you propose? First server needs not like correct a white pressure time menu. What not it better in chapter? One is about how servers Show greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu. Menu. Actually, I work better. I weekly reach the server great call in operation appearance in appearance and I feel sharper. Oh. Okay, very good. That word include, Juan Ricardo, include, if we include. 
in we include if we include if very we include. good thank you so much for your participation let's see okay and this one when we says wouldn't it be better or it would be better es como para dar a opinión que pensamos no que se, sería mejor ya no se pronuncia hill solo well, weather o wall oh, va junto aquí vamos a verlo esto está en su manual que descargaron en la página 21 está how to use would be better okay so would be better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion okay so and the way to use it or the formula would be first the subject in this case it because the subject is it because we are mentioning about or talking about one thing one suggestion something to include in the menu or something like that so if that's why um we are using it as a subject and then would be better and then the the verb in infinitive remember that when we refer to infinitive it means that we are going to use to plus the verb okay so vamos a cuando digamos infinitive quiere decir que vamos a agregar to y luego el verbo sin conjugarse sin agregarle absolutamente nada sin ponerlo en pasado, sin ponerle ing, sin ponerle s, nada. So, Teacher, verbo en infinitive. ¿Sí? Y esto, eh, perdón, uh -huh. esto tiene algo que ver con el tema de el tipo de, como por ejemplo, pasado, progresivo, eh, cosas como esas, tiene algo que es un, es un tiempo verbal, perdón. No, no es un tiempo verbal, es algo que se utiliza como para dar una sugerencia o un eh, consejo, pero de manera como de, le recomiendo, es highly recommend, ¿ok? Una sugerencia Entonces, fuerte, se, te sugiero que de verdad hagas esto, ¿verdad? Porque el también utilizamos son los verbos. Shoot. ¿Hola? El infinitive son los verbos. Ajá, por ejemplo aquí el infinito, el infinitive sería to let, aquí, to let. To let. Y el subject podría ser cualquiera, um, no, you, it. Podría ser tú, ajá, por ejemplo si eh, usted me dice, ah, uh, I want to buy shoes right now. So, te puedo, yo podría decir, um, I think that you would better, que tú mejor, I think that you would better wait for the, um, for the mid-year sales, ¿ok? Eh, eh, sería mejor, te recomiendo que mejor te esperes porque ya casi venimos, ya casi llegamos a la temporada de las ventas de mitad de año, ¿verdad? Más ofertas, etcétera. Entonces, you would be better. Ajá. Be I, completo. You, you would be better. Or you would be okay. better. You, uh, you would be better to wait, okay, for the sales. Okay. Sí, puede ser otro el sujeto. En este caso es it, like, uh, like suggestions. And we are using also, would you prefer... Okay, would you prefer to have a different schedule? También podría ser esta manera. Preferirías en tal cosa, pero ahí es como para dar opciones. Okay, so esto es enfocado a manera de dar sugerencias. Sugerencias o consejos también se usa should, ¿verdad? Se los voy a escribir en el chat. Estoy segura que ya lo han visto. Should. Ay, perdón, lo escribí mal. <laughs> should. Se me fue una Y por ahí. Ok, should. El should también lo util. You should do this and this and that. Ok. Y también es para dar consejos o, o, o sugerencias, ¿verdad? Tú deberías de hacer eso. Es un auxiliar. Should. Pero como para dar una, a uno más fuerte. O sea, es highly, uh, I highly recommend you. Se puede utilizar would be better plus infinitive. Y tenemos aquí un par de ejemplos. It would be better to let employees decide what process to change. 
it would be better to let manager take care of the situation, etc. Otras expresiones que se pueden utilizar para dar sugerencias o alternativas, would you prefer? Esa ya es como pregunta. ¿Preferirías tal cosa? Would you prefer? O si le quiero preguntar, ¿sería mejor hacer tal cosa? ¿No sería mejor tal cosa? Wouldn't it be better? Y esa si se fijan va como negativo. Wouldn't. Like would not. Wouldn't it be better to? Okay. So si me están diciendo, uh, vamos a ofrecer una, una que una gift card con descuento para el restaurante y yo le digo y no sería mejor si le damos un banquete wouldn't it be better if we give a free meal no te suena mejor entonces como wouldn't it be better sería otra forma de hacerlo o podemos usar good en vez de better con if it would be good if ok sería bueno si tal cosa eh, it would be good if, el better con el good. Um, um, bueno, el better es como decir mejor, sería mejor tal cosa y good es como sería bueno. Okay. Ah, okay. So si hay una diferencia, so, si, si decimos better, es, estoy diciendo una mejor opción. Okay. Yo pienso que esto es mejor. Okay. Pero si digo, ah, esto sería bueno, suena como como menos fuerte, ¿verdad? Como algo, ay, yo pienso así como, pero si decimos better, es como una sugerencia más fuerte. Ok, de verdad te recomiendo que lo tomes en cuenta, usando better, si hay una diferencia. Y nos dice acá abajo, it would be better good, uh, it would be good if, tiene If we had a professional, complete the manual. Ah, ok, no, este es otro ejemplo. Eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta con esto. No questions? No, no teacher. Thank you. Uh, ok, good. So remember, this is just like to give a, a strong advice or suggestion and it's very like professional and it also kind way. Porque um, si usamos should, a veces puede suge sonar como que lo estamos imponiendo, ¿verdad? Debería de hacer esto, ¿ok? Y esto es, es como más polite, decir, sería mejor tal cosa o no sería mejor si, wouldn't it be better if, or would it, wouldn't it be better to, es como una forma más polite de dar una, eh, entender que estoy dando una, un strong advice, pero no lo estoy imponiendo, ok, so en este caso es mejor usar would be better y no usar should, es el que um, les puse por ahí, ok, and the exercise here, el, este ejercicio que tienen acá es de volver, de escribir las palabras en un orden correcto para hacer oraciones y preguntas. Las que no tienen el signo de pregunta al final es porque es una oración y tienen dos, si se fijan que tienen el signo de pregunta. Esas hay que darles el question, eh, de forma de pregunta y recuerden que eso lo tienen acá arribita en estas cajitas, oraciones y cómo hacerlo con pregunta. Entonces, esas palabras que tienen ahí las van a ordenar ya sea para oración o para preguntas, según lo sugiere el ejercicio. Si no tienen el manual impreso, no se preocupen. Sigo compartiendo pantalla y lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno.
finished. Solo una he hecho, teacher. Only one? No worries. <laughs> Teacher, uh, we, uh, we have to give give you all the answer or we one by one. It can be like volunteer. So if you have, for well, the number one is already done. Uh, so would you prefer to have a different schedule? So someone else can give me the number two, three, four, and five. Okay. I think I already have the second one. Uh, I, I'm not sure about it, but I think it's what I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Wouldn't, wouldn't it, wouldn't it better? Be better. Be better. Be, be better. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it? be better one more time wouldn't it be better <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't okay wouldn't try se correcto oh <laughs> no belen se cayó <laughs> i oh Hello, or it's me. 